I've just been stuck in this world. It, we're playing on like an old version of Minecraft. I think it's 1.6. It's a modded Minecraft pack, so as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff in here. It's fantasy themed, so I thought like Lord of the Rings would be a good idea. Uh, disclaimer though, this isn't my design. I got this off of another YouTube video, and I'll post that in the description below. But yeah, let me just show you what the house is like. It's not entirely like ripped off from the video. I made most of, I made some of it my own. Um, I'd say about 80% of it is from the video I copied. So let's just get into it. I'll show you a house tour right now. Um, okay, so this is the inside of my house. A lot of really cool stuff here from the mod. So let's just go into here on the left side of the house. Here's my kitchen. There's a lot of really cool blocks here. I love decorative blocks the most. Those are always like the best for me. Those are the ones I explore the most. So like you could, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is vanilla, but they should really add this to vanilla. If it's not, you could like search up stuff here. And I just think it's way more convenient that way. That And you could even like look at a recipe for instance. Um, so I, I just think that's super helpful. Especially with this, this mod that has so much crap in it. There's like a keg here for making the beers, which I have here. These are apple? Why is one of them differently colored? That's cool. Um, you can make beer here. There's a beer mod, but I haven't really gotten into that. I just like making things look nice. That's really my main concern. I don't explore too much of the, all of the technical side of the Minecraft world. So I leave that up to my friends. <laughs> They're the ones who, who play around with all that stuff, but yeah i mean we'll just look around and see what we got here we got a cake i used a lot of spruce barrels for the design so they're like my like cupboards and this table um and but then there's actual like countertops here i'm not a huge fan of the way these look especially for this build i wish there would be like entirely wood ones but it's not and there's like a sink here too which <laughs> this is one if by some chance, the person who created this mod is watching. Um, like, this isn't even, look, look at that. I don't know, that's just minor things. But then I also don't like the rim of the sink here. It's like marble for some reason. Not marble, it's like quartz. But then like, these other ones are stone. Just minor things that bug me. I'll get into these later. But there's like a mod that lets you customize the way certain things look. Like if you could see these mushrooms, for instance, like they're all little mini mushrooms bunched up together. And then these are pumpkins and a melon, but they look a little different than vanilla. And then here's just a little sign of how the beer is made. There's a bunch of these that I think I have here. I placed them all here, but I only wanted to use one because there's too many. My friend has all of these on display, so I'll show you that. I'll show you their houses as well. I love their houses. Mm, I've, I'm thinking about making my own as well, like my own design from scratch. This was just because I wanted to do something like Lord of the Rings themed and um, I didn't have the creative means to really come up with uh, this kind of like rounded design, but I'm glad I copied the video. Again, I'm gonna link it in the, in the description. I think it's really great. Um, I love these racks. I use these a lot throughout the design. You could just place things on there. So like if I want to place my sword there, you could do that. Those are great. If you ever played modern Minecraft, you'll, you'll know all this stuff. Um, one issue I've been having, I don't know if this is an issue with my shader pack, but the lanterns that are on the walls light up white for some reason. They look fine when I start up the world, but once I'm in the world for like a minute or two, they turn white like this. Um, but by the way, this is also something I think they should add to vanilla Minecraft. I hate that like lanterns have to dangle down from like the ceiling or something. I wish they could stick to a wall and that kind of one of these mods fixes that you're allowed to stick lanterns to the wall, which I think is great. I really like this table. It looks more like a workbench with this like dangling lantern. I think that's really cool. Again, I'll get into the, the mod that allows me to, I don't know if you heard that, but that's um, the sky falling. Actually, let's go investigate that right now. I don't have food. 
So in this mod, for some reason, um, the sky falls. It's really annoying because it's super loud. I don't know if we're going to find the piece, but like one little piece of the sky falls. I think I see it right there. No, never mind. Mm, I could just show you what it looks like because I have a bunch of the pieces because literally like every like 10 minutes the sky falls. Um, it's these things right here. Sky fragments. I don't know what they do, but uh, that's just what that noise was. <laughs> Alright, you can cage things. I think this is a pretty cute. I caged the bird. I thought it would move, but it doesn't. It just looks like it got taxidermed, so that's kind of weird. It's also it's doing something weird. You probably can't see it, but it's like... It looks kind of staticky. I don't know. I don't know if you could... Hold on. What's the button to zoom? I think there's a zoom button. Nope. That's not it. Mm, nope. Never mind. I have no idea. Woodcutter. Or no, sawmill. This is pretty cool. I think you can place in like a block of wood and you can make these things. Oh, wow. What? Damn, that's cool. I don't think I, I haven't used that yet. I just like the way decorative blocks look and I place them down. I have like a little garbage can here for like throwing things in there. And this is a lantern in the back. I just put it there because it kind of went with the lava theme and I think it looked pretty industrial. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's sconce or something. There's these really cool like torches which I think are really great. I, I wish they would. They need to add new type of like light sources in vanilla, but this is one really great one because it's like an upgraded um, torch. Just looks so much nicer. But then this one also doubles as a lever. You can make one that isn't a lever, but I just wanted to make this one here because it looked pretty stealthy. That it was cool. Anvil. Oh, is it damaged? How is it damaged? Do anvils damage themselves when they're used? I really don't use it anvils that much but i used this one the other day quite a lot maybe that's what happened can you how do you repair an anvil <laughs> i really don't know i think i have to nah, i'll figure that out later enchantment room not much to see here but i really like this dragon head i found this randomly in the world i thought it was cool a uh, random piece of red armor i found this yesterday when i was playing it should have a uh, diamond armor on there, but I I found the red one I, and I thought it looked cool, so I just put it on there. Storage room, again, not much to see. Really cool idea, though, to, like... One thing I love about the way the video was, like, showing me how to build was, like... It really maximizes the space, so this looks like a little room, right? But, like, all these chests are, like, bunched up together in this nice, like, arc thing to go with the hobbit theme so like you know everything's kind of circular like a hole um oh oh that bird hold on oh my god it's gonna be annoying I, I i can lower the volume in the actual video but it's so loud uh let me see if i can find it it's like a pokemon sound it kept bothering me for like the longest time and um, I was finally able to get a look at it later on. What the fuck is that? Hold on. I've never seen this before. Oh, is that a mutated creeper? Oh no! Whoa, what the f- How? So there's mutated uh, variations of things in this world? And I guess that's a mutated creeper? I don't think I've seen it up until this point. Is my game like lagging? Why can't I- I can't hit that guy. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It's pretty cool though. <laughs> I'm sure my friends will comment on that. Um, yeah, they always laugh when I die. <laughs> I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at the game. I'm, I mostly love building in Minecraft. I'm very bad at combat. Anyways, let's keep going with the tour. That's a little blue lantern right there. It's a soul lantern, but um, I'll get into the mod that lets you do that later, as well as this, like the glowstone, but it looks a little different. It's really cool. This room isn't complete. I'm looking for some black wood. There's some wood in this mod pack called uh, ebony wood. And I really want 
to find it. That's what I'm probably gonna do today. Once I'm done with this tour. Um, there's these stone hand things that are pretty sweet. Uh, they're decorative, but then they also display your... Like, whatever you put on there. And I thought the purple, like, little soul flame, whatever it's called, went with the portal really well. So, I really like, like this room. I'm also waiting on finding soul sand so I could put down some nether wart in here. But... The issue with these mod packs sometimes is that, like, sometimes you, it, like, overrides previous, um, blocks. So, in this mod pack, there's something called Soul Soil. And I think the Soul Soil, like, replaced all of the Soul Sand. So now there's, like, no Soul Sand in this world. And I'm getting kind of pissed off because I've gone into the portal several times to look for some Soul Sand, but I can't find any. I don't think it exists in this world, honestly. Um, but let's continue with the tour. Uh, I'll show you the hallway. Chandelier, really cool. There's like torches. Um, I, I just love, love that. I kind of wanted to place it lower, but I think one lower would be too low. These are like signs, hanging signs, which funny enough, I think they just added those in the new 1.2 update for Minecraft. So by the time the time I'm posting this, they just released that uh, that really disappointing um, Minecraft Live update of 1.2, where they're adding like just like a, a few things, like camels and hanging signs and stuff. Um, I don't know. Is anyone else disappointed in that um, update? I don't know if it's coming out yet or not. I I don't really keep up too much with it. I just hear about it and. Didn't look that interesting, but anyway, candle is something they need to add to Minecraft. Especially the this thing, candle is really cute. So typically it would just kind of go on a table, but I added like some iron to it, and it's able to like stick onto the wall, like you know, a little candle holder. I thought that was really cool. Um, a little study room, you know, really cool. And then there's. Uh, these books that th these are enchanted books and you could place them down in this mod pack as well as regular books I think that's really neat one thing I am excited about in like the 1.2 update is like they're changing the way bookshelves work so you could actually like take out a book and then like put it back in I think that's really cool um, I don't know if they're gonna add the ability to place a book down like this I don't think so this is more of a decorative thing and but uh, taking out a book of a, out of a bookshelf seems pretty cool, because then that way I wouldn't have to use the loom to um, give the illusion of an empty bookshelf, you know. I just have a bunch of books in there. That's all this place is really. I did not know what to do with this room. I I really wanted to like do something in here, but I'm still waiting on that idea. So for right now, it's, there's just like a little sofa and a table for some reason. But I got all these really cool workbenches here. These are the things that allow me to change the way items like blocks look. So the melon, for instance, gets changed here. So I'll give you an example. These are vines and the mod is called chipped. And if you place a vine in here, you get all these different designs like you can and it's free too it doesn't cost you anything to like change a block and you can keep changing it as many times as you want so if i wanted a different one i could get this and then just use it as a decorative block the other cool thing is that i think once you put it inside of the workbench it doesn't it becomes like unbreakable so the vines typically you need like the shears to cut them but not here, you don't need shears. Um, I just think that's a nice addition. Same with the glass as well, I think. So the glass, you could also get these really cool designs as well. I've been using them around my house every so often. I don't have that many windows in this house, but when I do have them, I make sure to make sure to use the uh, this chipped mod. Still not sure what all these do. I think this one's for stone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Get a lot of different designs of stone. I might actually use this eventually because as of now, I've been using pretty lame 
Um, I, I might... Hmm. Let me see. So here's a, a wood block, and I think the, the table that's out here deals with wood. Yeah, so I could probably get a lot of... I could probably really spruce up... <laughs> No pun intended. I could really spruce up the way that my floors look. Hmm. Yeah, that I might do that actually. Sounds like a good idea. I have no the hell. I have no freaking clue what this thing does. It's a loom, but I I place some of these down just for decoration. This is the one that changes the lanterns, so you get a lot of really cool lantern designs from from this one. I wish they would add more, but the ones they have are okay, I guess. I don't think I've used this one. That's weird. Why is it? I'll just place it. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, this alchemist one, I think, is the thing that changes the glowstone. And I just use the rack to place all these nice moving objects on on display. I really like the moving objects. I, I don't know why. They just look so cool. Um, oh, here are the di different variations of glowstone. Th there's a bunch of them. Yeah, look at all those. Now over here we have a sort of like a uh, just a fireplace area. I really wanted to put a sofa here, but it kind of got in the way. I it just got kind of obtrusive. Maybe I could place this one over here. This is also like a seat, a red stool. I think it looks pretty nice. So I'm going for like red carpet themed stuff. So that's kind of one of the things in the video that was highlighted was like red carpet. Which kind of is like that Hobbit color. Um, but yeah, just been placing red carpet down wherever I can. I have a bunch of sheep out there, so I just shear them. And I have a bunch of flowers out there as well, so it's pretty easy to make red carpet. These urns, I love these urns. I have them all around my house, actually. You've probably been seeing them. I love how small they are. They're small and discreet, but they're big. They have a lot of storage. It's like the size of a double chest, but it's so tiny and decorative and i love it uh this doesn't have any more storage just like the same amount but it's also really cool i just think they're so handy i keep telling my friends to use them but i don't think they do but i've been like every time i see them out in the world i try to collect them because you use you make them by using terracotta and i haven't really come across much terracotta except the only way i find them is by like raiding villagers houses and stuff Something happened here. This is my bedroom. Something happened with this guy. There used to be another one, another armor stand here too, but I have no clue what happened. And then this guy's like half sticking out. I think I was having a fight in here and I accidentally hit it. And I think when you hit these armor stands, I think they shift over. Um, but I have no idea what happened with this guy over here. That's weird. It, it just disappeared one day. Here's another chair with the candle holder really nice it's nice and dim in my bedroom and i kind of like that i think a mo mobs might spawn in here but i'm not sure uh there's this really cool lattice stuff here my friend uses this a lot in his build again i'll show you their houses in a little bit they don't have hobbit houses and <laughs> they have different houses so uh yeah they they built more conventional um like builds i might pick up some of these books i think i overdid it i placed these down last night but yeah i don't know uh, i don't know if i agree with all of these being down here mm. i'll probably just get rid of these over here yeah that looks fine this is kind of a library area this this wasn't a thing that was in the video so this is like my own original room Really cool. Not really much here. This is the room with the big window. I don't have a lot of windows in this house. This is like the only place I could think of putting one. And I just thought it was really cool. 
and I thought it would, you know, you can't really see out, out the freaking window because these blacks get in the way, but it's still cool. I like it. Oh, how could I forget this grandfather clock? I love this thing. I I got the idea when I was like looking up some stuff on online. It's really solid. I think it's a really cool design. Um, this clock, unfortunately, is in vanilla Minecraft, so this is a mod pack exclusive thing. If you like left, if you right click it, it gives you the time as well, uh, like the Minecraft time. So right now it's 7:25. I think that means a.m. Um, I don't, I don't know actually. Yeah, it looks like it's bright outside, so I think it's a.m. This room, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to make it into like a shop area. So I want to steal a bunch of villagers and put them in here. What I might end up doing is I might tear down these walls right here. And make them all like one big connected room. I, and I want to try to make it look like a shop area, but I don't know yet. I need different villagers because these are all fishermen, it looks like. I got unlucky with that, but they're all fishermen. And I really want some other, um, really want some other types of villagers. I do have some on my island, so let's go out here. I live like on an island, and it's really beautiful though. I picked this area specifically because it just looked so good, and it had everything I needed. Um, I I spend the, like the most time out of my friends always looking for where to build. And I, I'm always, I, I pat myself on the back a bit about where I, where I choose to live. They sometimes regret where they choose because, um, hold on, let me think about what to, I'll drop this. These bags, there's like things in them. If you open them, they give you items. But yeah, anyway, out of my friends, I think I picked the best places to live. <laughs> I'm just very picky, and it pays off though because then they're jealous. So I like I found this island because I was just traveling the oceans, and it's just full of flowers everywhere, and it's pretty massive as well. So check this out. I called <laughs> I called my area the Shire. Um, this map for some reason decides it doesn't want to remember where I've been, but I've explored pretty much the whole island, so I. It's, it's big, trust me. <laughs> and there's a lot of new enemy types. These are thankfully are friendly cy cyclopses. They don't really bother you if you don't bother them. Just I want you, you just can't get too close because then they'll they'll start attacking you. Um, that sound. I don't know what the hell these guys are. I think they just. I wanna. I wonder if I could capture one. Actually, let me try that. I'm very curious because you can capture things inside of the cage. Wait, do I even have... Yeah, I think I have enough stuff to... Give me one second. Damn it, what goes on the bottom? I think I messed this up. Hold on. Alright, we got a cage now. Let's see if I can get one. No! Man. That's disappointing, but I'll probably capture something else. Oh, you know what I can capture? Maybe? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna make a pit stop. I'm not, I'm not gonna show you my whole island, it would just take too long. I'd rather show you it, like, organically as I play. Which, by the way, on a side note, I, I know I have another Minecraft playthrough that I've I've been posting on this channel, but I might just abandon that one because I'm I'm getting so much more involved in this one. The launcher for this for this mod actually um, tells you how long you've been playing for. Like it, it counts the hours, and according to the mod pack, I have been oh, I'm supposed to be going that I'm supposed to be going that way. <laughs> according to the launcher, I've been playing 
in this world for about four and a half days. So, um, yeah, that just goes to show you how much I've been invested in this world. I've just forgotten about my solo playthrough world. I would like to return to, to that one, though, and maybe just go into creative and just build out what I was thinking. And it's a shame that I had to, like, kind of follow a tutorial video for how to build a hobbit hole for this world, because I always... I, I tend to pat myself on the back about my, my creativeness, um, but this time I just stole someone else's creativeness. <laughs> but it's all fine. I, I think it's worth sometimes admitting that you need help and because you know that's how you grow that's how you grow as a builder as a person is by just getting help from other people i know they got deep it's just minecraft but i think it's worth mentioning so where i'm going right now is i'm going to get some pigs so one of the bad things about these modded worlds as i've kind of said is the way they replace existing vanilla stuff. So there's no friendly mobs in this world. For some reason, my friends and I have just had really bad luck with finding friendly mobs in pretty much all of our Minecraft modded worlds. Like I think the hostile mobs like take over and it doesn't leave um, any room for like cows and pigs and chickens to spawn. So I mean, even even if you've like been noticing as I'm making my way over here, there's like not been like a single cow or sheep or anything. I fortunately have sheep, but the only reason oh crap, I forgot you can't go on the leaves. I I, I hate that. There's like a specific um, where are they? Oh, that's right, I took them off. There's. A, an enchantment that lets you walk on leaves. It's called Leaf Walker. <laughs> but you're not like meant to for some reason. So I can't hop on the leaves. There's a pillager thing here. I just found this yesterday. I've been playing this game for so long. I've been playing in this world for so long and I haven't uh, realized that this was here. Uh, what was I saying before all this? I keep getting distracted. Oh yeah. Um, friendly mobs just don't spawn. That's really annoying. I have sheep, but the only reason I got sheep is because there's a cyclops in my on my island. Not the one I showed you. Another one. And wherever that cyclops is, um, he just kind of brings sheep with him for some reason. So can I capture one of these guys? Damn it, I can't. <gasps> Wait, I got one! Oh! <laughs> That's maybe this maybe not a good look. The only one I captured is uh never mind. <laughs> Why couldn't I capture the pink ones? Hmm. That's interesting. It might be because the black ones are like part of a mod. That might be why. Let me try that again. Cause I really need pigs. Ooh, and if not, hold on, I have a good idea. I don't know why these pigs haven't grown up either, though. Can I not feed them? They're not horny yet? The last time I made them bang each other was like two days. Like, not, it was yesterday, but I mean, in Minecraft days, it was probably like five days ago. That's weird. Ah, damn it, I just gave one to one of them. That's fine. Yeah, for some reason, they, they've only spawned... Okay, I got another one. Nice. Wait, but they're babies. I don't know how to make them grow. Maybe I feed them the carrots. Because they've been babies forever. Like, I've... I don't know. That's so weird. It's very odd. And then when they had babies, it was multiple. So, usually, like, you make the animals have sex, and then... They produce like one child, but I made those pigs have sex, 
and they produced like um four like four little pigs i just realized i have a waste stone i didn't tell you guys about that it there's waste stones something called waste stones in this world if you've if you've ever played modded minecraft those are pretty common it's just a mod that lets you like teleport and I actually have one over here because this this is a village you can just teleport back to wherever you have one set up so that's actually how we're gonna go visit my friends right now they live over here in these places um, I'll show you Middle Earth later probably way later I don't know how I don't know how much I'm gonna get to today um, let me drop off some of my stuff though the pigs I don't know where I'll put the pigs right now I don't know how you take them out of the cages either they can sleep outside tonight. All right, welcome to my friend Nick's house. He stole my little idea of putting a a little fire on the on the top of the waste dump. But this is where he lives. Not a very good place. Maybe I should wait till morning actually, so it doesn't look quite as grim and gloomy. But let's just show you inside here first. It doesn't really matter if it's um, gloomy or not. He's dressed up as Kratos. Actually, I kind of like the atmosphere when it's rainy inside of his house. I like his area here, his pub area. So, as I said before, he has all these really cool, like, the way you make beers. The ones I showed you earlier. I think I only have uh, one of them up. I think I just have this one up on my wall. <clears throat> he has a lot of caged animals for some reason. I guess he, like, capture he likes to capture them. But yeah, this is his area. I love his kitchen. I actually think I like it. I like it more than my own. I think I'm really jealous of what he's done here. I, I could do th something similar as well, but I just have limited space, and I was following that video, like I said. I just think it's really nice. Oh, he has all these villagers. I don't know how the how he's getting these guys. I, I had the hardest time getting mine, but he's just getting them like left and right. You know what? Maybe I can capture the little kids in the cages. I don't know if that will be a thing, but I could. So the cages are only for little, like little creatures. Um, maybe I could take one back to my place, but like the little villagers, the little kids. That sounds wrong, but I can kidnap some. He also likes using the racks and stuff. I don't know what that zombie noise is, but yeah. I like their areas. They only got. They also got way more into uh, making, um, like using the really cool blocks that they have in the world. I didn't really get into that for some reason. I think I started building before I knew about it. So they used the really decorative blocks, but I didn't really get a chance to use them. I don't know where they're getting all this armor stuff, but it looks really cool. Got more villagers there. Storage room. What's going on? Oh shit. What the fuck? What's going on? Hold on. Wait. Nick. Hold on. Let me message him on here. Don't worry. He took care of him. Oh no. He's gonna blame me. No, that was my fault. I don't think I closed everything. <laughs> I hope he doesn't blame me. <laughs> Continuing on with his house tour, I don't know what that was about. His his villagers just just turned into the illagers, or that's what they're called, right? Illagers. Like I said, they used a lot of the cool blocks here. Love these barrels. They don't have storage though, which kind of makes me mad. I wanted to use these until I found out that they don't have storage. I actually don't even know how to make them either. Oh crap, what's going on? Uh, maybe I'm bringing all the bad stuff to his house. He's got rabbits over here. I mean, just a lot of cool stuff. You guys can just look for yourselves. I don't know if I have to narrate everything, but... Really nice designs. Especially my other friend, Frank. I'll show you his house next. I love his... His house I like the most, I think. For different reasons. I also really like Nick's house as well. Got a little sheep farm like me. I guess we all just found sheep. This is like the only thing we could find. The only source of meat. 
he probably also found it in the same way I did, to where there's like the Cyclopses and they just always have like a sheep entourage with them. There's this guy. And yeah, he also used the stone hands, but in a different way. I actually thought about this too. I also wanted the eyes to be in the stone hand, but I decided uh, the purple flames were cooler, at least for my build. This is his enchant room, enchantment room. I've gotta make sure that his villagers doesn't escape. What? How did he blow up from that far away? Is it me or was he like super far? All right. Well, that's pretty much all of Nick's house. He also built. Uh, I don't. He's. <laughs> I don't know what his gorilla's doing here. I don't even know where he finds this stuff. My friends find like the craziest stuff, and I have like no idea how. Oh, forgot. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I might bleed out. There's bleeding in this Minecraft for some reason. I find it very annoying. Let's show you this dimension really quick. There's not much here. It's really annoying. Why'd I say annoying? I, it is annoying. Oh, there's a zombie in here for some reason. Must have wandered in through the portal. It's just very barren. I find that all of the, like... All of the, um... Like, different dimensions they try adding in mod packs are kind of just lame. There's not much to them. I don't find that there's that much to this particular... Um, oh, what does this have? Unbreaking? There's just not much here. It's boring. I'll just show you like the one cool thing that is here, which is like right up this hill. And that's this big dungeon place. Also, your like the weapons and stuff that you have from the overworld don't work here. But they, they work, they, they just don't work as well. So this sword if I try using it it'll tell me that it's like it seems this weapon doesn't work as well here so oh there's no enemies there's usually always enemies here like there's this guy I hate this guy he's so fast too like there's no outrunning him I guess you can't outrun him but it's just very difficult like, he's just always on my tail. I I didn't clear this dungeon yet, but there's just, um... There, there's some bad guys in here. I took care of those, but there's like a boss up at the top that I haven't been able to unlock. Not that I will. I'm not very good with... Um... What's it called? I, I'm just not good at combat, <laughs> is basically what I'm trying to say. So I think if you put all the keys in here, you're able to face the boss in this room, maybe? I don't know, I've never done this before. They have, my friends have, but I don't bother with the, with the combat stuff. Okay, let's go to Frank's house. I'll show you his house really quickly. He just started building the interior of his house. He did not build all this, so just a disclaimer. He isn't some Minecraft god. He, um, he he built somewhere where there was already like something established. So, like this boat and stuff, this dock and the like staircase leading up to here. So yeah, I'm just exposing him a little bit. But he built his own house though, which I think is really great. I really like his house. This is it right here looks really cool because the thing I like about it is that it blends in with the other houses he has here so these aren't built by him these other established like established houses were here were here already like um, it's part of uh, some minecraft mod I don't know I don't like the mod because I can't do anything in, on his turf so like literally anything I try to do I try opening a door and it tells me I can't um, sometimes it kind of glitches and kind of lets me do things anyway, but, um, <laughs> like right there, I can just get through that. By the way, you can like go prone, which I think is really great. I don't think that's vanilla. It's a mod, but I think going prone should be 
should be in vanilla Minecraft. It might, it might be. I, I really don't know. I haven't played vanilla Minecraft in so long. But like, yeah, I can't do anything in this house. If I try opening that up, it'll just glitch out too. And when I mean like anything, I mean anything. Like I can't even pick up a block that I might have dropped on accident. Actually, I don't even think I could litter. I can't litter here, so <laughs> let me try throwing something. Um, yeah, it, I can't. It, you get the point. I just can't do anything on his island. It's his his home. The mod doesn't let me touch anything, but we can at least look. And he's wow. He's he's done a lot. So funny enough, this is actually my second time recording this exact same video of showing off her world. The first time, I ditched it because... Um, hold on. My friend Nick wanted me to come and, come and see these pedestals. They're really cool. They do the same thing as the stone hands. I love that. Anyways, back to the Frank tour. Alright, yeah, I think like as I was saying... This is my second time recording this video because the first time I recorded it, I did something I did something bad and I recorded all of the audio on one single channel. It's just technical stuff. It rookie mistakes. I it, it was just a big accident, <laughs> but I recorded it all on one channel and Minecraft is so loud. I have it pretty quiet for myself like in in my headphones. I don't hear it that much. But like in the audio recording, it was just so overpowering. Like you could barely hear me talk. It wasn't that bad. It, actually, I'll, I'll take that back. It wasn't as bad as I'm making it sound, but it definitely um, wasn't worth posting, I don't think. And I guess it's good I waited because Frank has done so much since that last time I recorded. Wow, so this is his kitchen. And he's got these like... Was it like Mario 3, Super Mario Bros. 3, where they have like the opening and it has these like kind of, uh, it has this kind of pattern design on the floor? I don't know. He also uses these signs. I really like them. I wish I could use them, but I don't have that much space. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is just his kitchen area. No need to go over everything, like every little block. There's so many blocks that I think are cool, but I mean, you could just look at them yourselves. Uh, I don't really know everything he has. He has so much stuff. He's really good at kind of finding the stuff that no one has used yet. So, like this. I had no idea we had this little statue that could wave and move. Yeah, I think Nick also has this in his house. I might have glossed over that. But I think we all got that idea from, uh, from Frank. I have my own little statue, but it's just a little one made out of, like, grass hay. So... Yeah, he's got these bookshelves. So cool. I love these different wood bookshelves. Oh, he had something here yesterday, but um, I guess he got rid of it. He has this cool thing called uh, a bellow. And if you, like, stepped on it, it pushed out air and it would push anything, like, in its way. Maybe this is it. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's it. What is this, actually? A sack? <laughs> I'm just going to see. Uh, I'm going to just say this right now. If my friends say anything in the chat, I don't know how to mute. Is there a way to mute the chat? Hold on, let me ask them because they're asking me if I mute the chat, which I probably should. Um, so if they ever say anything like bad and you see it, my face is probably going to be down at the corner where the chat is. But I mean, if anything slips through in editing where they, they might say a naughty word and um, I mean, I, how can I get canceled with like single digit the subscribers anyway continuing on with the house tour he's also using the clock here i actually wanted to do this exact same thing he uses like a pedestal and he just puts the clock there i actually thought about this exact same thing but i thought it was a little too obvious so i made the grandfather clock instead uh i think he took some inspiration though because he used the bell i can't even hit the bell by the way that's how strict the permissions are for using things on his island yeah i don't know my friends don't know i do i do youtube oh well, they, I, I guess i've told them but they don't really um know about my channel really like in the literal sense they don't know how to find my channel so they're just screwing around they might say something bad and i might miss it and it'll probably slip through but 
I just accept it. I, I'm sure you're edgy enough to accept whatever they say. <laughs> this is a really cool anvil. I don't know how to use it, but um, I want to make one of my own. I think I can. It's not that hard. I looked up the recipe. He's just got a lot of really cool items here. I don't even know what the hell that is right there. That's pretty sweet. I want that, but this thing looks like a con, doesn't it? I think it's it's supposed to be like a little light bulb, but it just kind of looks like a condom. What the hell is that? What? That's so cool. Oh, it like blows air. This is where he moved it. So the bellows. Okay, so you could you could like jump on this thing, and you could push things like out of the way. It was really cool. Wow. Yeah, that's the thing Frank's the best at, is just discovering all these new little blocks we don't even know about. Oh, that's a good idea. He used, um... Yeah, he's using, like, the chimneys to create kind of a smoky effect in his... in his forge area. Oh, and he's got a chain up here. That's cool. Uh, let's go upstairs first before I go downstairs. I think these signs are weird when they have the 3D effect. I don't know, it looks kind of funny. I like it though, I like it having the 3D effect. I kind of wanted to use some of these in my house, but I don't think it will look that good. Since my house is meant to be a little bit more rustic and less industrial. Okay, we'll, we'll edit that out. Um, I just saw something written on my friend's blackboard. Uh, globe, I want this so bad. It even spins, but I can't touch anything in this house, so. Oh, here's a blackboard. I'll try to dodge the blackboard that's out there, but uh, there's a blackboard here, and you could write stuff on it. I kind of want to have one of these in my house, but um, I still gotta... I gotta see if that'll even fit with my aesthetic, because... You know, I don't think Hobbits had blackboards. You could place stuff on this thing, I think. Oh, what? That's like the one thing I actually can interact with. I'll just leave that little present there for him. I don't know where these doors go to. Oh, yeah, it's just like a closet. He might have gotten this idea from me, actually. I had a closet, too. We all just take ideas from each other. It's really cool. Oh, here's one other thing I want in my house. He's got a little, like, bell. The little iron bells. I don't know if you can use it. Oh, I think you can, but I just can't touch it. So if you don't see it at the bottom left, it says you don't have permission to do this in this colony or something. So this is his basement, his storage area. Um, it's pretty empty right now. He likes doing this thing with this chest. I don't really know why he likes like separating them. In every world we've played in, he's done this, and I don't get... I don't, I don't know. It looks cool though. Stone hands with the twirling chests. Um, I want to make one of these too, but I haven't. Uh, just haven't gotten around to it. What is this? A crucible? Oh wow! I need that too. I need more rooms in my house. That's the thing that I see all these cool blocks, but then I don't have like anywhere to put them. Like, I don't... I'm, out, like, I'm, like, out of space in my house. Like, my house is technically complete. It's just, I don't, um... I don't know. I, I've been thinking about building another house, like I said. Let me show you where I want to build my other house. It's in Middle Earth. <laughs> I found this really cool location. I've been keeping it a secret from the guys. But it's... It's sick. I... I need a place- do I have a bucket of water? Damn it, I never have a bucket of water when I come here. Because I, I want to place a bucket of water down so I can just get all the way down over here. Um, I mean, I won't die, but I don't want to damage my armor. Hold on. I got this. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Ugh. It's so far down. Damn it. I'm doing a very... Okay, I'm doing a very bad job. <laughs> That's fine. I 
That's fine. Yeah, just look at this place. My island has flowers as well. But this island's flowers are just like... I don't know, they're just so much more thematic. Because it's kind of like the same flowers over and over. It's these um, Amaranth? A Amaranth? Is that like the streamer? Is that my dog? Okay, hold on. My dog wants to leave the room. <laughs> Alright. I'm burning daylight here. So let me keep going. This is really it. Huh. Uh, it's just the village. I already explored it. I don't think I've gone into every house. I like taking villager stuff. Anything I find cool. But... I'm really on the lookout right now for ebony wood. I don't even know what it looks like, but I'll try finding it. This is really cool. What is like a good hobbit tree? Maybe this would be pretty decent. Because I've been trying to look for a new tree to replace the one I have at the center of my war- uh, of my... Like, I don't think I even show you where the sheep live. You might have seen it, but I didn't really specifically show you. Let me show you that right now. Let me just cut this tree down. Oh yeah, and check out the funny way trees get cut down here. This is a bad example because it's one of the 4x4. Four four, or like one of the 2x2 two two trees or whatever. But if it's a single tree, it like shrinks down at the bottom and... Oh, that's how you get that? <gasps> okay. I've been trying to figure out how to get this dust. I keep see I, I saw it in one recipe last night and... I was like, how the hell do you get Fey Dust? And that's how you get it. Okay. There's just really cute dandelions. I just I just love this place. It looks so good. Render distance is low because we're playing on a free server. Uh, I don't know, my friend does coding stuff and he figured out how to do it, but... Um, I wish I could bump up the, the viewing distance, but... It's literally, I think, like the lowest you can go. Not the lowest, I think it's like at 8. 8 chunks? That might be the lowest, I don't know. I forget. There's one cool thing I wanted to show you guys here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get all the way up there right now. I might die. But also... Mm, I might die, but also it's a little too far. I'll show you another time. There's like a dragon somewhere here. Up a mountain but I'll show you guys that next time all right let me show you guys before I stop recording where my sheep live so when I log off I might make a pen for these guys I don't know if I really want to record myself playing too much <laughs> maybe I will a little but like like I said, I've been playing this game for I've been playing in this world for like four days, more than four days. So what does that equal to like? How much is that? Is that like ninety six hours and more than ninety six hours at this point? I've been I put in more than a hundred hours into this world, right? Like I don't want to record a hundred hours of Minecraft, if you get what I mean. Like no one's gonna watch that, you know. This is where my sheep are. I want to replace this tree because it's I thought it would look cool because there's no other red tree around here but it's just kind of lame oh there's a sky falling again let's see if I could find this one but yeah I kind of want to replace the that tree right there this is a summer tree the one I got was a spring tree might not be unique enough I'm just trying to find like a very unique tree to put there I want like a tree to like, I don't know, as like a centerpiece. I just don't think this maple tree is really that good of a centerpiece. All right, one last thing. This is something I'll show you guys next time when I'm showcasing the world. I'm gonna go into the nether. I'm, I'm warning my friends because every time I go into the nether, not every time, like it's like a 50-50 chance that the server crashes for some reason. I guess it just can't handle me loading in like an entire new world. But let me just try to show you guys a little bit of what the nether looks like. It looks pretty crazy. At least the spawn I got here. Very yellow, you know? There's a lot of different stuff in here though. But I'll show you guys that next time. 
Let me know what you guys thought about this world. I'm really loving it. I've been putting in so many hours. I just love playing with friends so much more than playing by myself. I think my last world, the one I was playing solo, just got kind of depressing. Uh, did he try shooting me? I know the blazes have very far aim, but... Anyways, yeah. Still don't know what I'm going to do with that old world. I Oh, he is shooting at me. I might just abandon it, truthfully. Not that people really care, but just letting you know. So, just in case you were for some reason looking forward to me completing my house in that solo world. I almost forgot to show you guys really quickly. This is just my farm. Nothing special here. It's just my farm. Two little cool jack-o'-lanterns here. Alright guys, see you next time. Take care.